are all here because we are aware of the profound impacts that ACEs and toxic stress have on children in our communities. The impacts of ACEs aren't just seen in the doctor's office. We see them in the classroom, on the street, in our jails, and on the news. We see the effects among our friends and our families. How do we build an ecosystem of ACEs-informed care? How do we go from hands in the air to boots on the ground? We are charged with making sure that children are healthy today, but more importantly, we are charged with making sure that children are healthy tomorrow. As a person who leads a program in the area of family violence, I think a lot about the adverse childhood experiences as root causes for the kinds of family violence that we see. And what this science allows us to do is realize how linked we are, how our fates are shared, and that we can have a collective vision. And I think one thing that's been hurting kids is that we, we don't work collectively. We work in silos. Everyone has a slightly different message or slightly different ask. And we have to work together to create a common language, a common way of talking about it in order to shift it into that sort of mainstream knowledge base. And how do we start to really measure what we need to measure at every level so that we can start to get the information and feedback we need in order to move the movement. We want to ensure that childhood remains a time of joy that it remains a time of potential and possibilities. And that is why we need prevention, early detection, and effective treatment. Pediatricians can't do it by themselves. We certainly know that, that we are not alone. Parents can't do it by themselves. School teachers can't do it by themselves. So all of us have to join hands around the life of a child. And then having a conference with these three pillars, which are really to build community to think about how do we advance the science and advance the practice, and then how do you inspire action? That's the right frame for getting people in the right state to make the changes and connections they need that will really take the field further. Because the second that you know you've had an experience that can impact you, and that it's not your fault, that there's more right with you than wrong with you, and you can always start to have compassion, then you become a healing machine. We should not see our role as missionaries, as ones that come into a community to fix the problem, or work with a kid to fix his or her issues. We should see ourselves as people unlocking the potential of our kids. We, as pediatricians, already have a strong sense that it's our fundamental responsibility not merely to focus on their immunization rates, which is extremely important, not merely to focus on their height, weight, and blood pressure, but also to focus on the person that they can become, the, the future that they can have free of illness. Together, we can break the intergenerational cycle of adversity. It's up to us, the right people, are in this room right now. Let's get started.